These dances, these masks, these strange rituals have meaning. They describe precisely the relationship between a remote African tribe and the heavens. This tribe believes all life comes from a distant dark star, invisible to the naked eye. Recently, modern science was able to find this star and confirm its existence. Now we must ask, how did a primitive people, lacking instruments of any kind, discover a dark star hidden deep in space? This series presents information based in part on theory and conjecture. The producer's purpose is to suggest some possible explanations, but not necessarily the only ones, to the mysteries we will examine. In Central Africa, among fortress-like cliffs on the southern edge of the Sahara Desert live a people called the Dogon. A thousand years ago, fleeing from warring tribes, the Dogon found refuge here. The Dogon have endured and preserved mysterious ancient knowledge. Knowledge of an invisible star and its movements through the heavens. The hum of the bull roar is believed to be the voice of the sacred star. It calls initiates to a ceremony high in the cliffs. Dating back to a time when the Western world was locked in the Dark Ages, this ritual has taken place year after year. During the ceremony, the full spectrum of Dogon knowledge is revealed and passes from generation to generation. A circle within a circle depicts Saturn and its rings, which can only be seen with a telescope. large circle and four satellites, the planet Jupiter and its moons. Most remarkable is this symbol. It represents the orbit of the Dogon star, a phenomenon deep in stellar space. Yet, no such orbiting star is visible from the Earth. It was not until this century that Western astronomers began to suspect its existence. A desert tribe called the Dogon, isolated in the African wilderness, may have identified a star invisible to the unaided eye. How is this possible? How could the Dogon possess this sophisticated astronomical information? Approximately 200,000 Dogon live in 300 villages scattered through their land. Throughout most of Africa, the simple melodies of the shepherd's flutes reflect the unchanging pattern of village life. On the surface, there is little to separate the Dogon from countless other tribes. What makes the Dogon different is a unique social harmony maintained by strong tradition. Among these people, murder, theft, and suicide is all but unknown. 
Greed is rare. Disputes are settled by debate in open forum. A goat has broken down a neighbor's wall and damaged his crops. The farmer demands repayment. The goat's owner insists it is the farmer's fault. He should have built a better wall. The elders decide that indeed the wall should be stronger, that both men should rebuild it and replant the crop. Millet beer marks the settlement. The Dogon believe in a perfectly ordered existence. They believe they are a part of something much greater than themselves. That each task, however menial, reaffirms their integral connection with the rhythm of the universe. In myths and symbols, the Dogon link the lowly with the lofty, the known with the unknown. All human activity is inscribed from the origin of man to the mystery of death. The spinning and weaving of cotton describes the Dogon myth of creation. Each strand by itself is of little importance, but united by a guiding intelligence, they become an ordered fabric. Planting, harvesting, the winnowing of grain from chaff, each act of Dogon life has a practical and a spiritual value. The study of the Dogon has lured men like Dr. Hans Guggenheim, an anthropologist from Harvard University. He has probed the relationship between the Dogon and their mysterious dark star. In order to discover this mystery, the mystery of Dogon knowledge about the stars, we have to begin by looking at the inside of their granary. Because the Dogon link in their knowledge the science of growing grain and the understanding of the stars. All ancient civilizations have needed knowledge of the heavens for the growing of grain. Just as ancient astronomers studied the positions of the sun, moon, and stars, Amandingi, the elder, climbs to a place among the rocks to observe the sun as it moves along a heelstone. He will determine the exact time when his people must sow the seed that will ensure their survival. This land is normally a desert. The rainy season is short. Planting must begin at precisely the right moment. The harvest which follows must last through the harsh months of drought. Life or death of the tribe depends on the accuracy of observation by men like Amandingi, the Dogon astronomer. As Amandingi studies the heavens, is it possible that he can reach beyond the visible universe? Is it possible that he can sense phenomena deep in space? The Hogan, the high priest of Aru, is the chief of Dogon religious knowledge. Selected more than 30 years ago by signs and prophecies, he lives a prisoner in a small temple compound. The Hogan is adored and provided for by his people, but cannot be touched by man or woman. He is the living repository of all that is known. His isolation from worldly needs and worldly concerns ensures that the sacred knowledge he keeps will remain pure. Should the Hogan be contaminated by human contact, he must be killed. Away from the clamor of village life in caves and rock shelters, the teachings of the Hogan are renewed. 
Tribal legend tells us that beings called Numo descended from the sacred star and appeared before the Dogon ancestors. The Dogon were entrusted by the Numo with 366 symbols given without meaning. The Dogon were charged with interpreting them and preserving the information for future generations. The symbols reveal an astonishing scope of astronomical knowledge, an infinite number of stars and spiraling worlds. After more than five years among the Dogon people, Dr. Guggenheim has gradually gained the confidence of the Dogon elders and acceptance into the inner circle of secret knowledge. The Dogon believe the universe was born in a vast explosion and as it opened up, everything that we know about and everything that the Dogon know about in the world came pouring out and nothing was left except a shell. This empty shell became the star that they called the Pontolo and that we call Sirius B. In 1950, astronomers confirmed the existence of the Dogon star. At the United States Naval Observatory, Washington, D.C., Chief Astronomer Dr. Irving Lindenblad devoted years to the search for the dark star. The Sirius system is a very interesting challenge observationally because it is a very difficult to observe a star uh, 10 seconds from such a bright object as Sirius A. After the years of effort, Dr. Lindenblad finally succeeded in taking this photograph of Sirius B and its giant companion. The Dogon possess even more startling information about the star they hold sacred. They say that when it gave forth all its energy, it collapsed in upon itself, becoming incredibly dense and so heavy that all the earthly beings combined cannot lift it. The San Fernando Observatory, Silmar, California. Dr. Gary Chapman is an astronomer specializing in the physical characteristics of stars. By splitting the light collected from a distant star into colored bands, its physical characteristics can be analyzed. The Sirius B is fairly normal in the surface layers, but we do rely on the calculations to tell us that the interior is essentially out of nuclear fuel. It's a dead star. We know from modern calculations that it has a very, very high density. It has a density about five million times that of water. And if you were to be on the surface of Sirius B right now, you'd be crushed very, very flat because the surface gravity is about 100 million times that of the Earth. <laughs> The symbol is explained. The knowledge preserved in rituals through the centuries has been confirmed. Beyond the Dogon knowledge of the dark star, the symbols reveal more information about the celestial universe. They correctly place the Earth and our solar system within the Milky Way and state correctly that the massive cluster of stars is far more distant than the planets. The understanding of astronomical movements led the Dogon to investigate the human anatomy. They discovered the circulation of blood in the body long before it was discovered by the English physician William Harvey in the 17th century. These symbols and the knowledge they hold are the legacy of the mysterious pneumos, the messengers from the dark star. Many cultures claim their knowledge was given them by godlike beings descended from the heavens. But the Dogons insist their gods descended from one star in particular, which they're able to identify and describe in detail. Does other evidence exist of this encounter between gods and men? In 1937, French anthropologists shot this rare film of the Dogon. 
they found the people in a frenzy of preparation for a huge ceremony. The scientists were told the funeral of an important man would soon take place. But all this was an elaborate deception designed to protect their secret knowledge. The anthropologists counted themselves fortunate to have the opportunity to observe the making of ritual masks representing the panoply of Dogon spirits. It would be years before the scientists would understand their true meaning. The giant ritual which the anthropologists witnessed was not a funeral at all. It was the Sigi. Occurring every 60 years, the Sigi is the most important ceremony in Dogon life. The Sigi is an event relating directly to the sacred star. The Sigi marks the completion of an orbit, the time when Earth, the giant Sirius, and the sacred star are directly aligned. The moment when the Dogon and their star are closest. For Western science to determine the orbit of the Dogon star required calculations based on decades of astronomical observations. Minute shifts in the position of the giant Sirius led astronomers to suspect the gravitational influence of an unseen companion. When computer studies of the data were complete, they verified that a small star orbited Sirius every 60 years exactly as the Dogon claimed. The interesting thing is that in their vision of the stellar universe, they arrived at the conclusion that it was the smallest invisible star that was at the center of the universe, that moved the universe and that held Sirius, the Sigi Tolo, in place and determined its course in an elliptical way which they have painted and graphed on the, the, the walls of their caves in ellipse, which has been borne out by Western observations. More than four decades have passed since the last Sigi. Only the oldest among the Dogon recall it, the greatest experience of their lives. It is from the citadel shrine of Yuga Dugaru that the order to commence the next Sigi will come. Here live the only men who claim they have actually seen the alignment between the Earth and the distant star. Elders of a secret society, they are the venerated guardians of the shrine, where they say a place in the cliff begins to glow when it is time for the Sigi ritual. What mysteries inspire these people to devote their lives to the keeping of a shrine, to the knotting of a rope measuring the time until a ceremony they will not live to see? In sanctuaries hidden among the cliffs, there is evidence of the antiquity of the Sigi ritual. The mask, called Na, dates from an early observation of the dark star. It is believed by scientists to be more than 300 years old. Masks for future rituals will be modeled on this example. So what conclusion does one come to from the Dogon knowledge of the star Sirius? I feel there are one of three possibilities. A, that they have supernatural knowledge or extrasensory perception. B, perhaps they've been visited by creatures from outer space. Or C, that the whole thing is coincidence. And I must say, as a professional astronomer, I strongly side with item C, that it's coincidence. How they managed to calculate this? We don't know. It is a mystery that we have been unable to solve and up to now, and that the Dogon are not going to tell us.
The average lifespan among the Dogon is 38 years. The Sigi ritual is held every 60 years. Yet, every Dogon youth learns the complicated movements of the dance, hoping he might someday participate in the ceremony. Each hopes that he will be the one to wear the grand mask. The grand mask, the symbol of the sacred star turning in endless orbit around the giant Sirius. Today, the modern world surrounds the Dogon. Their children will attend schools. Roads will connect them to major cities. Western goods and technology will soon be commonplace. As they gain new knowledge, will they lose this ancient wisdom? Can they travel into the future, guided by tradition and social harmony? Will they retain the guiding wisdom of the dark star? <laughs>